Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This long waited video is finally here. I'm so excited. I'm about to walk you guys through my college application and my portfolio. Things I did other than art that I think helped my application. First of all, I applied to just art colleges in general and they are all in the United States. Scholarship wise, I'm just gonna read off from my computer. 80K from CCA, 82K from MICA, 56K from SAIC, 64K from Park since the new school, 30k from SVA, which was my dream school, 36k from SCAD, and zero from Pratt. So totally adds up to 348k, I guess. Yeah, so this much. And I ended up admitting to Micah. Let's just get started talking about my portfolio. I'm so excited. Yeah, I also tried my best to make sure that they look cohesive and vibing with each other. The first project is Paralyzed because I think this is my most genuine and um, unique creations out of all the projects I did. A lot of people see horror and evil in those paintings, but honestly speaking, there was by no means anything like that. The whole idea is about somatic disorder. For some of you guys who don't know what that is, basically it's some weakness and pain in your physical body such as back pain, stomach pain, caused by anxieties, uh, excessive thoughts, and things like that. In the culture I'm raised in, I see a lot of people in my generation, including myself, suffer from chronic physical illness, which got diagnosed knows that they are caused by mental problems. Like everything in our life is accelerated, having too much yet yeah, unnecessary pressure from the school, the society, the system. For this project, I try to express the numbness, the separations and connections between mental and physical through those paintings. After I finished everything, I took them into an abandoned place for a final photo shoot, symbolizing don't bury your emotions alive. The second project was actually my first ever illustration project created like three years ago. The concept was about yin yang, or reverse imbalance, you may say. I made some interesting little scenes that contain two-sided things interacting with each other. If you guys are interested in that, I will just make another video elaborating, but I'm not gonna do that in today's video. For this project, sometimes I don't even know I'm being overcritical of my art, or I'm just in fact so so amateur. I guess it's not too bad for my first ever illustration project, especially I'm using Procreate for the first time. The next project was a picture book or like a little thing titled The Nightmare Hunter. I like it so so much. Basically, there was a nightmare hunter live inside this lighthouse, surveil people's dream, try to make sure that they don't remember what the hell happened in their nightmares. The hunter would just be busting into people's houses, catching nightmares with their special made bag and catching the train taking the nightmare into their grave and throw them down to the dead river. When the sun's up, the village remains a normal place. In this little dystopia story, the nightmare actually represents people's unconsciousness, anxiety, phobias, whatsoever. Taking that shit away makes people not aware of they are actually isolated from the world, from each other. The whole project is so so finished. It includes digital illustrations, two little things, and a pretty cool concept. I like it so so much. The last piece was an installation piece. I'm so proud of myself for doing that. You guys have no idea what it takes to finish this project. The idea was like the ever speeding pace of life, low high quality social interaction and um, other problems are depressing and bringing out people. Also, I'm a big fan of urban exploration. By any chance, I discovered an abandoned toilet in the middle of nowhere. The toilet is a private space. People can take a break, ideally. I painted a great city as the background with classic characters representing the fast city life. After interviewing many people about what usually relaxes them, the elements in the children are rainbow mushrooms, little planets, a guitar, and etc. Spray paints are left in the room for future visitors just to expand the children area. So it's like you're working this with your audience kind of stuff. Also, for Micah specifically, I added more supportive creations. I'm also a big fan of graffiti, so I uploaded some of that. I also tried to create comic. Just tried out silk screen print, by the way. And also, there are some figure studies, landscape paintings, and flower paintings. It's important to show your school your capabilities at this stuff. 
So I'm about to share some tips with you guys. Like there's a lot of things you can do other than creating art to help you get into your dream schools. So one of the most important things I did, I guess, was doing portfolio reviews with the schools you're applying for. During my application process, I attended a lot of review sessions with different schools. Basically, this is like a pre-review thing for those admission people to give out constructional advices for you to just ready your portfolio for college application-wise. For example, by talking to different schools and especially their admission people, some of the schools didn't like graffiti pieces like the toilet project and uh, my uh, illustration merchandises such as stickers, prints, my silk screen print. So like during my official application to those different schools, I prepared like different version of portfolio for that. For some of them, I just get rid of some graffitis and also feel free to just email the schools See what you can get from them and also i did a lot of things during my high school and um okay speaking of high school i had a such great time for you guys who are new to my channel i went to a canadian international high school in china and uh, graduated with a bc program diploma i think so we didn't do gpas and stuff so i don't i don't know how to convert my grades to gpa and basically you don't need to do that but i was doing fine with my grades and stuff so besides that i was in src student council's marketing department for two years designed a lot of posters tickets logos basically like graphic designs i also played a lot of sports however the thing that most highlighted my resume was that I generated the first ever graffiti festival in my high school and got sponsored. I also produced a cinematic trailer for this event. Later for Micah's creative entrepreneurship program application, I made a video basically bragging about my experience related to creative marketing, including my career development outside of the school. For example, I did a lot of commission work, mural paintings, content creations, and promotions for art-related stuff. That's pretty much it for today's video. I'm so proud of myself for getting so many offers and so many scholarships. So if you have any questions of our college application about your portfolio, feel free to comment down below. I will try my best to answer them. And also, if you like today's video, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and go check out my online store. I'm, As I mentioned, I'm also doing merchandises. So yeah, hope you're doing great with your application.